Are you tired of the same old Airbnb experience? Well, you're not alone. A shocking trend has taken the travel world by storm. For the last few months, millions of travelers have bidden farewell to Airbnb, and the reason behind this mass migration will leave you stunned. Stay with us as we unveil the shocking reasons for this mass migration, explore the exciting alternatives that are reshaping the way we travel, and what this would eventually mean for the industry. You don't want to miss any of this juice. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and notification bell so you don't miss any of our videos. The rise and fall of Airbnb. You remember how everyone used to talk about how awesome it was to be an Airbnb host? It was an avenue to make easy money with your properties and two years after the pandemic, Airbnb reported that their revenue had risen by over 78%, making them even more profitable than they were before the pandemic. However, things have taken a surprising turn and lots of people are actually leaving the platform. This could be the next major exodus of customers. Right after COVID-19 saga, there was a huge surge in demand for short-term rentals and so many new hosts flooded the market. But unfortunately, there weren't really any strict rules for getting in, so the supply grew way faster than the demand. Now with the off-season here and economic uncertainties hitting almost every country, travellers aren't booking as much, there's more competition among hosts, resulting in a continuous drop in bookings. In fact, companies like Vacasa, which manages properties for real estate investors, are also feeling the pinch. See, Vacasa takes a big revenue cut of up to 35% from their clients, so when things get tough, their profitability naturally takes a hit. You won't believe that it's not just Vacasa and Airbnb, a bunch of new hosts and co-hosted property owners are also struggling. Those who joined the short-term rental business recently are finding it tough to compete, and the co-hosted properties are hit by high management fees that make it hard for them to stay in the game. But here's the thing, if you're already a host, this exodus may actually be a good thing for you. Less competition means you will make more money during peak seasons, but of course we should be prepared for new hosts coming in again when they see the chance to cash in. So if you're thinking of entering the short term rental business, or if you're already hosting, here are some important things that you should keep in mind. For starters, focus on cost optimization. Find more cost effective housekeeping solutions and manage your supply chain efficiently. You really do not have to break the bank to make a house inhabitable for visitors. Most importantly, make sure you study pricing strategies to keep those occupancy rates high during the slower times. And remember that since there's going to be a ton of competition to deal with, your prices and quality of your service will determine your success. Basically, it's all about being adaptable and making data-driven decisions to stay ahead in this challenging market. Speaking of quality, one of the major issues plaguing Airbnb was hosts having zero control over the quality of the guests who booked their places. You're opening up your home to strangers perhaps people who are visiting from a different country or city and hope they'll treat the home with respect, but you never really know what you're gonna get. I mean, let's really think about it. You list your property on Airbnb and boom, random people start booking it. Some of these guests might turn out to be awesome, polite and tidy, but then there's also the bunch who just don't care. They leave your places a mess, break stuff, and you're left with nothing but bills to fix up the house. What's worse is that Airbnb doesn't have a proper system to vet the guests, so you're just crossing your fingers and hoping for the best. And if it happens that one of those rowdy guests cause trouble in the neighborhoods or does something illegal, it's your butt on the line, not theirs. Oh, and let's not forget about the dreaded review system. If you end up with one bad guest who leaves a nasty review, your whole reputation as a host can go down the drain. Honestly, it's a real farce that there's no standard of quality control for guests on Airbnb. And it isn't entirely surprising that this is one of the reasons why most hosts are ditching the platform. We really can't blame them though. If guests pay £1,000 for a three-day stay only for the homeowner to spend 1500 on repairs right after they leave, they've made a loss. And it's only a matter of time before this business model crashes. But it's not just about the quality of guests. Another major issue with Airbnb is that some hosts are facing legal challenges and fierce competition. And this is making them consider throwing in the towel. In cities like New York and countries like China and Thailand, hosting on Airbnb is incredibly difficult due to strict regulations. In fact, in China, Airbnb tried so hard to grow their market, but the local competition was so intense that they had to call it quits. They couldn't keep up with the big players in the Chinese market. In New York also, the market has become a battleground. Not only are property investors swooping in and snatching up all the good places, there's also a law that bans short-term rentals of unoccupied properties for less than 30 days. Oh, and in Thailand, it's no different. It's a tourist hotspot, but guess what? Hosting on Airbnb is actually illegal there. You need to get a government license if you want to rent your place for less than 30 days. So you see, it's almost like they're making it super hard for hosts to make some good cash from their homes. And if you do manage to beat the system and navigate the legal hurdles, you'll still be up against fierce competition. Airbnb isn't the only player on the field. Companies like Flipkey and Trivago are also out there, fighting for a limited number of hosts and guests. 
As expected, this competition is driving up prices on Airbnb. More hosts are pulling their properties out of the long-term rental market and it's causing a price surge. Still here? This must mean you'd like our other videos. Subscribe to get more videos like this and top Airbnb tips. The perils of poor planning. Some people would watch this and claim that the market is doing just fine and further suggest that hosting on Airbnb is still an easy way to make some quick cash. But so many property owners have been kicked out of the game almost as fast as they've entered and this can be an attribute to poor planning. You could all be stoked up by Airbnb hosts thinking it's going to be a piece of cake. But guess what? If you don't plan out every single step, you're in for a wild ride of headaches, letdowns and eventual ejection from the game. Many hosts have failed to calculate their break-even point, resulting in financial losses. Excitement often led to overspending on property preparation, leaving hosts in a precarious financial situation. It's just like I mentioned earlier, if you're spending way more than you earn on repairs and enhancements, it's only a matter of time before you quit. Understanding break-even points and planning your budgets might have saved many hosts from quitting Airbnb. Unlike traditional landlords, Airbnb hosts face unpredictable income streams. Travelling is not what it used to be, and this has led to fluctuations in bookings, which in turn has resulted in uncertainty, making it challenging to plan and budget effectively. Hosts often find themselves in uncomfortable financial situations when revenue isn't as expected, forcing in a number of them to quit. But with great planning, hosts can beat this uncertainty. So first things first, you've got to know your numbers. If you don't figure out your break-even point, you might as well be throwing money out the window. And you have to be very patient because income isn't always steady in this game. One moment you're on top of the world and the next you'd be wondering where all the customers went. So if you aren't prepared for those ups and downs, you're going to feel like you're on a wild bumpy ride and will force you to make rash decisions. You should also know that registering with Airbnb doesn't come with a guarantee of bookings. It's almost like playing a game of chance. But if you plan your budget to include these dry spells, then you're on your way to building a steady source of income. Also, if you're counting solely on Airbnb for cash flow, you're taking a real gamble. Like I already mentioned, watch out for those sneaky guests who can leave you with bad reviews for just kicks. A bunch of poor ratings can tank your listings faster than you can say Airbnb disaster. So if you're even thinking about diving into the world of Airbnb host and promise me one thing, plan it out like a pro. So you know how there's fierce competition from companies like Flipkey and Trivago. Well, it's been giving hosts a run for their money. And on top of that, there's the nightmare of dealing with squatters. Imagine guests refusing to leave and turning your place into their permanent pad. It's an absolute horror story. And yes, this does happen. But amidst all these struggles, some hosts have decided to explore alternative platforms and strategies. So first up on their journey, they stumbled upon Verbo. Vacation rentals by owner. Yeah, it might not be as famous as Airbnb, but these guys have over a million properties in their arsenal. They've been in the game since 1996, way before Airbnb even existed. Verbo is all about vacation properties, perfect for families and larger groups looking for more extended stays. Veering off the beaten path, and we've also discovered Booking.com. Yeah, we all know it finds hotels, but did you also know that they list homes and apartments? Talk about a hidden gem. Then we stumbled upon the Plum Guide, and this is definitely a game changer. The Plum Guide not only accepts only 5% of the properties that apply to be on their site, but here's what makes it even better. They go all Sherlock Holmes on every property and personally vet every single one against 150 criteria. Talk about quality control on steroids. And this is what the game has been needing for quite some time. But the biggest satisfaction comes from discovering an alternative called Homestay. Basically, it's like Airbnb's cool cousin who knows how to host guests the right way. Homestay is all about staying in a local home and getting that authentic local vibe, plus breakfast is included. What guests would say no to that? So what is the future of Airbnb? Looking ahead, the future of Airbnb remains uncertain. The platform's success will depend on how it addresses the concerns of hosts and guests as regards to quality, and also how it balances the complicated world of regulation and customer comforts. As technology and travel habits also evolve, Airbnb must adapt to stay relevant in an increasingly competitive market. So here's to the resilient hosts who navigate the highs and lows of the Airbnb world, always seeking new ways to thrive in this dynamic world of travel and hospitality. As they face the challenges head on, they inspire hope for a future where Airbnb can once again be the beacon of unique experiences and unforgettable adventures for travelers worldwide. Like this video, hit the subscribe button for more like this. See you on the next one.